Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be recreating a look I posted on Instagram yesterday um, using all drugstore products. Um, I did try to make the video as I was doing the makeup, but something happened with my phone. So now I'm going to try to recreate it. Um, so I guess I'll just get right on into the video. So first product I used was this Spotlight Primer from Physician's Formula. And it does have color once you first start putting it on, but once you start rubbing it in, the color goes away. And then for foundation, don't mind my my hair. Um, I use the Healthy Foundation, also from Physicians Formula, that works so amazing with this primer. I love this primer and foundation duo. Um, I love the primer, but I can't use it with other foundations. Every try I try to use it with another foundation, it doesn't work out. It seems to only like the Healthy Foundation. So, every time I use it, I'm probably using the Healthy Foundation. I have... I haven't tried the Healthy Foundation with other primers yet because I kind of like the way it looks with this primer. So, I don't know, maybe I'll try it one day. So I can go ahead and... Boop. The one thing about this fun this primer is it is kind of sparkly. Also, the foundation kind of dries kind of dries quickly, so I do tend to work a little quicker with it, and I work in sections as opposed to doing the whole face at once. And one thing I had to say I don't really like about the foundation is the doe foot applicator that you have to use to apply the foundation. I usually prefer that on like a concealer. I don't really prefer it on my foundations because I prefer to just like kind of dump it out into my hand kind of situation or pump it onto the back of my hand. Um... But I mean, it is wicked good. It is a, it's not so full coverage. It's more of like a light to medium full coverage. I mean full coverage, light to medium coverage. But I do, would I would rather use this as an everyday foundation as opposed to like my photo focus or my... Actually, I might use my Do You as, like, an every other day foundation because of how full coverage it is. But because this one isn't so full coverage, I'd use it as an everyday foundation. So, it, and the other thing I don't really like about this foundation is there's not enough shades. I think it only had, like, ten, ten shades, I think. But it still is a wicked good foundation, and I do highly recommend it to you. Uh, for my concealer, I used the Hard Candy Glamouflage in the shade Light. Oh yeah, by the way, in this I am shade LC1. That's what it looks like to me, a 1. So yeah. And then for Glamouflage, we use the heavy Glamouflage, Hard Candy Glamouflage Heavy Duty Concealer in the shade Light. And this isn't in like a little pump tube or squeeze tube. So I just put some on the back of my hand. And then I just take my beauty blender, dip right into it. And then I just go ahead and apply it. Now this is a wicked good concealer. The only downside to it is how thick it is. Like, I don't think I've ever seen a concealer this thick. Like, it has the coverage of like 
shape tape, but it's so thick. Like, I, this is something I wouldn't recommend trying to blend out with, like, a brush. So if you see, like, look, this is one eye, you can kind of see, like, my dark circle, and then you go to the other end, like, dark circle too. And I like to bring it up into my eye because I do like to use my concealer as eye primers, which I'm sure you see a lot of YouTubers do because I think personally it saves a lot of time. Okay. I'm just going to wipe off the rest of it. Okay. And then. To set my concealer, I'm going to use the Airspun Loose Face Powder, and this is the shade Naturally Neutral. I don't know if they have other shades, or if that's just, like, something they put on there, if they're coming out with other shades, but that's what the shade's called. Um, I do really like this setting powder. I don't really bake because I do have kind of sensitive skin, and I don't recommend this for baking because it gets wicked like heavy hard to take off and it feels really weird so what i do is i take like this crease it's supposed to be a crease brush but it's too big to fit in my creases so i use this i dip a little bit into the powder tap the excess off so it kind of just looks like pretty much there's nothing on the brush and i just apply it to my under eye and i just kind of sweep it in there And I make sure I set the concealer I also put on my on, on my eyelid as well. And this sets like this sets so good. Like if you don't like to bake and you just want like a quick like go, I recommend this. And I feel like it also kind of brings brings it back more to my shape. You can see like this concealer is a little bit lighter for me. And if you look on this side, when I put this on it, it looks like it kind of sets it back just a little bit for me. And I just tap it on the edge of the pan. I take the um, filters off of my powders because I don't really like to sit there and just tap out powders all day. So, yeah, that's what you hear me doing. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing on this eye. I'm just going to go ahead and sweep it underneath. And, um, I also don't set my whole face just concealer when I use it because if I dry if I do my whole face, my whole face is gonna get wicked dry. Alright. There we go. Okay. And so now that I have that, I'm gonna go ahead and close that. Um, uh, I'm going to go in with my bronzer here and that would be the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and this is the light bronzer and by the way all the brushes and even the blenders are all drugstore like these are BH Cosmetics Ashley Tisdale Luminate collection and the other brushes I'll be using are like a pink and a purple handle those are real techniques along with those sponges that I used were real techniques as well And I do apply just a little bit to my forehead. And 
And that's pretty much it for bronzer. I don't like heavy bronzer looks on my on my face specifically. Um, so there's that. I do use a contour once in a while, but I feel like contour and bronzer are different. So yeah. And for blush, I'm going to use this Milani 08 T Rose blush. This is wicked good for like a natural blush. Um, the other blush I really like is the Enchanted line from L'Oreal. Um, I, right now, I thought Enchanted was the shade name of the blush for the longest time. And then I was online looking at makeup last night and I found out that's not the name of the blush. That's the name of the line they came out with. Um, I don't know the shade name of the blush I came out with because there was two different br blushes on the website that looked like the one that I have. Um, it's like a peachy color, but it's wicked pretty. It says it's supposed to be peach scented, but it's not peach scented. But it's wicked pretty, so I, I kept it. Alright, and the way I put on my blush is I use this brush, for, the sculpting brush, because I like to pat it into the cheek, and then I just kind of like blend it. So I go, I, I do my little grin, I do a little pat, 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 and then I just... I sweep it. Okay. It's easy. Kind of like a Disney princess, but I'm too chubby for that. Anyway. Um, for highlight, I used, I love this highlight. This is a Wet n Wild Loose Highlighting Powder written in the stars. It's from their Zodiac collection. This highlighter is so great. I mean, it's mostly just like glitter you put on your face, but it's so pretty. Like, hold on, let me get it open. I'll give you guys a quick little swatch of it. If I can. And like... Like, that is just so blinding. I love it. Let me just kind of... Uh, yeah, you still see it. It's so pretty. I love it. Alright. And... Ooh. Like, even just, like, look at the light shine on it. It's so pretty. Anyways. The way I apply a loose highlighting powder is with this, like, a thin fan brush. If I was using, like, my Jeffree Star highlighter or, like, a Fenty highlighter or something that's a pressed highlighter, I'd use this brush because I feel like it's easier to just kind of pick up the amount of product you need and go, and you're good. Whereas this, I don't want to dip this into that and have glitter all over my face. So I use my little fan brush from Real Techniques. I dip right into the pan because I have more than enough product on it. I tap off both ends and I just put it on. Like, I know you can like see it more of like a highlight there but if you like look at it up close you can see all the glitter in it and it's so pretty. And with something like a loose highlighting powder, I don't, or I try not to tap it onto the, onto the pan like I do with the powder, because the highlighter will go everywhere, and I don't want to clean that up, so. Okay. So now we're going to move into the eyeshadow. And for that, I actually use the Wet n Wild, again, Bros in the Air palette. I love Wet n Wild products. They've come such a long way since I was a kid. When I was a kid, I used to buy their lip glosses, or at least my mom or my sister bought me their lip glosses all the time. I was obsessed. And so the actual brush I typically use for my crease is this Real Techniques crease brush, which I'm just kind of... Trying to get the cranberry color off so I can go into my transition shade. 
And the cool thing about these palettes is like it'll give you like a warmer transition shade and a cooler one. But for this look, I went into this cooler shade. I mean the warmer shade, sorry. Let's go ahead and dip into that. I have been trying to do wings again, um, but I feel like just for this sake, because I feel like you guys are more here to learn how to do the look I did, I'm more or less just not going to do it, do the wing, and I'm probably not, I'm going to show you what I use for mascara, but I'm probably just not going to put mascara on. It'll make my life easier when I go to take this off to jump in the shower when I'm done with this. Okay. And then, the color I used in my crease was shade... 2, 3, 4, 5... Eight. Shade 8, which would be this cranberry shade right here. And I actually take the same brush I did for my transition shade. And I just go ahead and put it right in the crease. And I really love this brush from Real Techniques. Because I can use it for the transition shade. But it's also small enough where I can actually just kind of sweep it into my crease. And sometimes I like to do a little extra blending just to make sure it's actually like blended. Cause I, kn I know sometimes people go to blend their makeup and it doesn't look blended. So I take the extra time to just make sure that it's blended. I'm going to go ahead and just do the other eye. Okay, and then for the shimmer shade, I use shade two. There's so this is a mostly matte palette. There is two shimmer shades in here, which would be shade two and five. Ooh. So two and five, which are these right here. Two is more of champagne. Five is more of like a brown color. So for this look, I use the champagne color. And these are wicked soft, they're not too chunky. I would really recommend this palette, especially for a beginner, because what's really cool is on the back of the palette, it actually gives you like different looks that you can try to create, and it tells you the shades that you should use to create it, and it's pretty cool. So yeah, there's that, and I'll show you guys the other eye. And there we go. Alright. And for the eyeliner in my eyes, um, because like I said, I am going to be showering once I get done with this video. I just want to make this video so I can show you guys what to do. Um, so I use first I go over my brows with this um L'Oreal brow stylus. Um, this is the lighter 
I think it's like light brunette or medium brown or a color like that. I always go a shade lighter than my natural hair color. So I feel like when I use my natural hair color for like pencils and stuff, it makes them look really dark and bushy and I don't like that. Then to go over that, I used the Tattoo Studio Brow Gel from Maybelline. Um, with this, I don't go like full ham digging into my eyebrows with this. I just kind of like lightly just graze over the brow. And let me. One cool thing about this is yes, there is a lot of product that comes out onto the brush, but it is a little doe foot. But sometimes I do have to do the extra, like blending it out and stuff like that. Uh, for eyeliners, for the wing, I use this L'Oreal 24-hour L'Oreal Infallible, um, I think it's a liner lacquer, is what it's called? A oh, lacquer liner. And this is the shade Blackest Black 171. Um, I have tried, since I've been trying to use do wings again, I've always found that I do better with, like, a liner like this like a liner and a brush as opposed to using the um, like the pens and stuff like that or like the liquid liners I prefer to use this because I feel like with a brush I have more control because like when I use like the pens and stuff I have to pull out tape and use that as my stencil whereas with this it's easier for me because I like to use this with this elf angle is this elf I'm pretty sure it's elf yes the small elf angle brush so that's what I use to do the, to do my wing. And then to line my eyes, I use the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Matic uh, Mechanical Eyeliner. And this is, I think this is also Blackest Black. Let me see, is there a color name on here? Oh, it's Ultra Black. And I do really like this liner. It, like most liners I've used, bleed out under your eye and stuff like that this one won't do that to you especially from the drugstore it works so good i love it and the product i used on my lashes was the l'oreal paris lash paradise primer and mascara this is an amazing duo um first i started off with the lash paradise and i really really loved it and then i heard they came out with a primer and i was like and I had to go and get it, and it works so well. It actually smells like flowers, so I do recommend this duo to you guys as well. And for my lips, I used this Red One Matte Ultra HD Lip Color. I don't know what shade this is. Um, they don't have the shade name on the product. I have seen the shade name before, but I don't remember what it is, but I'll have to look it up. But this is a wicked good shade. It is like a nice cranberry color. Um, they also smell wicked good too. So that's a bonus. And I do recommend these lipsticks to like anyone. I haven't tried their like, I think they came out with like a metallic and a gloss. I haven't tried those yet. But these matte lipsticks are so good. And they stay for the longest time. Like last night I was like wicked tired. I didn't take my makeup before I go to bed. Or before I went to bed. And I woke up this morning and it still looked like fresh lipstick. It was crazy. So I do recommend these lipsticks to anyone. So that is the tutorial for the eye look. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Um, I will try to make more videos. I do have a lot of stuff changing in my life. Um, I start a new job on Monday. So I will keep you guys posted. I'll try to make videos when I can, and I'll try to get new makeup when I can, and when I do, I'll make sure I try to make videos. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and yeah, peace.